SketchUp 2024 basic 3D modeling for beginners. Let's get to work. In this case, I'm going to show you how we can create 3D models very simple for beginners. So in this case, I opened the uh, SketchUp in here and you can see different type of templates for your job. First of all, if I click on the more templates in here, I can see more templates which related to different type of units and measuring systems. Right now, my favorite modeling is simple on meter and I can click on these option and close and collapse it. In this case, you can see your recent projects and you can select them. Right now, I want to start some raw job, so I'm going to click on the simple meters in here and the work will be start for me. In this case, I want to start my job with unit setup. So you need to set up your unit for drawing. I'm going to click on the window model info units and change the these meters to the centimeter centimeter and centimeter so this character is not really important i'm going to delete it and another time i will go to the uh, window model info statics and purge i use them fix problems it helps you to make your file much lighter than the other times first of all about the uh, toolbar if you click on this place you can add multi type of gadgets for your drawing like getting it started in here or if you right click in this place you can add some drawing options and some other type of tools for drawing but all of them collapsed in large tool set in here and you can click and drag it in different type of places in your job so I will move it in here and start my drawing First of all, I need to draw some rectangle. So I'm going to click on the rectangle in here, select my origin point as the main point and start point. And my rectangle is about 300, 500 centimeter, 3 meter to 5 meter. I'm going to press enter. And now I want to extrude it. For extruding, you need to select this option in here, which name is push or pull. And you need to orbit in your environment by holding scroll on your cursor and move your cursor and it will happen like that so I want to extrude this face so I'm going to move my cursor on it and left click so this cursor will be this extrude will be about 10 centimeter now you very simple and easy extrude your job I need to create walls for this rectangle but I don't know how to use it so offset is one of the useful tools which can help you automatically generate different type of offsets for your walls about 10 cm so walls created for me I'm going to click on the push or pull again I have two ways for pushing out my faces first one is about left click very simple but second one is about creating new face and edges how it work look at these place in here when I extrude it nothing will happen but when I click on the extrude and press Ctrl on my keyboard, I can re-extrude my job like that and you can see new line generated for you. Some number about 260 centimeters is enough for it. And everything is done in here. I'm going to click on the tape measure. Tape it about 40 centimeter, 100 centimeter, and from downside about 220 centimeters so this is my door place and about the windows I want to draw some another tape measure from here to here and another one about 60 like that and this is for my windows I want to add another window to this part of my job so I need to add my number 60 and another window about 90 another one about 60 and another one about 220 so these places generated for me now i only need to remove them and make them empty so i'm going to click on the rectangle draw one rectangle in here another one in here and another one in here so i can use extrude option for removing these faces but how they work when I press extrude in the SketchUp, I can move my cursor on the selected face, left click and move it or push it to the forward or backward. As you can see, on face option activated for you and it means that you can make this surface empty. So I'm going to left click on it 
But for the next items, because our walls sickness are completely same, we don't need to push them. You only need to double tap on your surfaces. So these walls generated for me. I'm going to close it in here, here and here. So everything is done. I'm going to press Ctrl S for saving my file on the uh, desktop, for example. And I'm going to type it basic 3D model and I'm going to press save. So the file saved for you. Now time for adding some new adjustments. So I'm going to close the uh, materials in here, for example. And I have 3D warehouse in here. I'm going to click on it. Open 3D warehouse. And in here, I want to search for contents. For example, I want to type window and press search. It takes a little bit of time. And after that, these windows will be load for you. You can download any of them if you like. For example, I think this one has some good details. Uh, and the uh, size of it is 29 kilobytes. I'm going to click on the download. Yes. And add it to my environment. So this window added. Now you need to adjust the size of it. So I'm going to click on the move option. Select this endpoint. Move it to this endpoint. Click on the uh, scale option. Rescale it. Like that. And another one here. So another one in here. Everything is done. And now I want to click on it and take another copy for this part of my job, but I don't know how to do this. So first of all, you need to select it. And after that, you need to click on the move option, press control, copy activated for you. And now you can move it to the uh, green axis like that. Click on the rotation, rotate it about 90 degree. Click on the move option and move it in this place. So I can click on the scale option another time and rescale it like that. And you can see what's really happened. The details are fine and good. So final step is about door in here. So I want to type door, press enter. And some doors will be load for me by the uh, 3D warehouse. In this case, for example, maybe something like that is not bad. It completely depends on you. Or maybe something like this, for example. You can select it by your own taste. For example, this one. Press yes. It will download it for you. Add it to your scene. Rotate it about 90 degree and move it to this part of your job. So I'm going to click on the scale option, move it to this place and rescale it like that and move it here. So, and you want to mirror it. So flip option is really helpful. Click on the flip option and flip it on the uh, red axis. It will flip for you like that very simple so i want to click on this wall and floor in here all of them selected for me and now i want to right click and make a group in here so rectangle is really important in this place click on the uh, extrude press ctrl extrude it about 10 centimeter click on the uh, move option take another copy in here and you can push it like that something like this 150 centimeter so your roof is generated for you you can click on the group in here and i think final step related to outside design for this thing i want to click on the uh, open 3d warehouse in here and i want to type flower box and press enter so some type of flower boxes like this can be really good for my job or maybe this one not bad all right i think this one is good click on the download import it in your 3d model move it like that in here so 
You need to manage the distance of your job. So I need to hold this edge and completely make it near to this model. And now I want to take some multiple copies which related to my job. Like that. Maybe four times is enough. And another flower box for another place. So I need to select all of them. Click on the scale option. Move it in here. And another one in here. So the size of them are really good. I need to select all of them. Move them a little bit to the downside. Like this. And another time I need another copy. And this is my final copy. So rotate it. 90 degree. Click on the move option, select this endpoint, move it to this place, and take it to this place. Select both of them, the scale option, the scale them with the window size, like that, and move them a little bit to the uh, downside. So everything is done for me, and this is the 3D model that we created for this first listen. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If this tutorial is useful for you, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thanks for your time, thanks for watching and goodbye.